Hey, got a minute. Let's learn about databases. Let's return to our server. Head back to Repilit. Open a new tab. They'll deploy a database for you. Here's the default one, but if you watch my SQL series, you can deploy a SQL one. Here's how we import it. Here's where we save stuff to it, and then get it back out. Looks like this. So let's make a new page real quick, as well as a place for that page to submit the results. You gotta tell it to expect a post request. So you can get the information the user sent you using request.form, which is a type of request called a post request. Then you can save the details in a database. Don't forget to send something back to the user so they know it worked. You have to make these pages. AI can generate you simple forms, so you don't have to know all of this HTML in order to get all of this HTML. If you want information from the server to customize each page, you can do it like this by specifying extra arguments in the render template function. Whatever you call these variables here can be used like this to customize the page before it's sent to the user. Okay, now you know websites and data storage. Next, we'll talk about SQL schemas. My bootcamp starts June 3rd if you want to learn to code. If you want to learn to code and use AI at the same time, that sequence starts next week. Come learn to code at the same time we have some scholarships available see ya